Hello, welcome to Lori's DIY Life. So what I thought I would do today, let's see if I've got some papers here real quick. I didn't think about it beforehand. Yep, I got paper. I got crafter's companion paper. Um... I want to do, I want to use this kit that I got, this set that I got yesterday. Um, and I thought I would just do the Toxie Turvy Cake. And on this I'm looking and it doesn't look like, like, these are icing. They didn't use this, this, or this. They just used the cake. So that's what I'm going to do. And looks like I'm going to have to run them twice. One with the cutouts and one without the cutouts. And then run some of these. What is that? That's not on here either, but what is that supposed to be? Hmm. But some of these and maybe some stars. So I'm gonna first let me grab a card. This die looks like it might be pretty big. I might not be able to put all the layers because I'm gonna do a small card. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. So, and theirs, they just put it right on white. And, um, you know what I might do is use this, um, blue and white star as the background and not, not cut out the stars see this is from the year of craft so it's kind of a <laughs> it's kind of what would you call it um patriotic that's the word patriotic that's the word i'm looking for and i'm gonna use this i love the size of these embossing folders and i don't use embossing folders a lot which is funny because yesterday I made a card using an embossing folder, right? But really I don't. Okay. This is going to be plenty big, honestly, because it's only... I wonder if I should cut the paper first and then run it through, I think. I just need a little trimmer here. I don't want to use that one I was using earlier because, ooh, that did not, that did not make me happy. Okay. I know that you got to have them level and all of that for them to cut straight. Okay, so I'm just going to do four, just a little bit under the four mark. I just go one mark down, which I think is an eighth or a sixteenth by, oh, I'm way off, because that's four and a quarter. What is this? Four and an eighth right so yeah those are sixteenths marks so we'll go an eighth of an inch by so I need to go to five and a quarter I believe we'll make it right okay 
she. Let's see. That doesn't look straight. That looks straighter. Way shorter up and down than it went sideways. Oh well. I can make it the same or I can... I'm gonna leave it. Okay, oh, you know what I did? Again, forgot to plug that arm thing in. So it should be just the two plates, right? And I'm just going to stick it in. I'm not going to worry too much about lining it up. So it should just be the two plates. Let's see what happens here. Uh, oh yeah, that's, that's doing something. Nice. I don't know if you can see, but that turned out really good. Really, really good. Liking that. Okay, so this will go here. This will go on the card. Yep. And now I've got to figure all this out. Put this up here. And here and here. Just like that. Okay, so let's get this. And we got one. You want to kind of get it lined up nicely. I don't like I said. I don't know how many layers I'll be able to do. But for this first one, I'm going to go ahead and. Just do them. Um, maybe I'll just do three layers and I won't do this fourth layer. Because that'll be big enough. Okay, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to go ahead and pick out some colored papers and I'll be right back. Okay, I picked my colors. I got this for yellow. I got this for green. And I got this for red. So I'm just going to cut out some pieces to cut those out with. Then I'll go, let me move these out of the way. 
I'll go with the green. And then I will go with the brighter yellow. And this one's quite a bit smaller. Brighter yellow. I also want to do these. So I am going to do um, yellow. I am going to try to do two. And I'm going to do red. That's not the red, is it? Okay, and my machine's ready to go, and I'm ready to go. Oh, that moved a little bit. Darn. I'm going to start moving everything. That's not good. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I want to run them through without the inserts. So I'm going to go ahead and take the inserts out now. And I cut through two layers and no problem. I don't know what this is for. Okay, that's the red and the yellow. So now I need the others. So this is the green. And the green is the medium size one here. I didn't cut it big enough. So there, that, that solves that, right? Ah, might as well just cut it all the way. Okay, and then I need Oh, 
Is that the same yellow? I know I had a different... Oh, here they are. Here's the other red and the other yellow. Yes. And yes. Okay, so the red's going to be for the bigger one. pieces let me get some of this red for the dies here let me make sure I get it on there and then that's the yellow the smaller one and then hopefully we'll be all ready to go Other than the sentiment, we have to figure that out still, but that should be nothing. They're all sticking to my cutting mats. So. some weird noises. I think I'm done with it. Okay, here's our yellow layer. Our red layer. Our green layer. And these. Okay, so the cake. Let me go ahead and glue this. I just dropped it. Okay, I'll go ahead and glue this down. I love the way that, look at that, how deep. I do want to make sure I get the glue on good. Since it's embossed like that, you know, it's got high and low points. And sometimes it doesn't stick as well. Okay, since my mat doesn't match up, I'm going to make it look purposeful. Now, they did basically that, but then they got light here. I'm going to glue these all together. You know, if you was doing this for a feminine lady, you could use like a flower one or something, you know, behind and that would look cute.
So I'm just going to go a little bit under the where the mat starts. Just so maybe a little bit it'll look purposeful. I doubt it, but you never know. Okay, then we've got this one. That one looks pretty, huh? So has everybody got their decorating done or started or anything like that? I've got my tree started. Just kind of started though. I had gotten this new tree and I was putting it up. And when I get to the, it's an artificial tree, so when I get to the um, top part, and I start bringing branches down, the lights all start going off on it. I'm like, what? How could that be, you know? <laughs> so I guess I should have had this angled, and I didn't. Okay, where's the other... I can't find the other piece. Huh. You gotta be kidding me. We all know I cut it, right? <laughs> for it. Make sure I got the right one here. It's not the right yellow. I'll cut it and I'll go to run it through and what's going to happen is then I will find it. Probably right after I put the thing in. And maybe you guys can all see where it is. <laughs> and I can't. So I'm just going to run this through before I spend forever here looking for it. And can't find it. I'm going to make sure where he's at. Yeah, I think it that was a lot easier than sitting here just looking, looking, looking for it. All right. Oh, so as I was lowering branches on the tree, the lights were going out on it because I had plugged the lights in to see how they looked because it was a new tree. It kept going out. Every time I bring a dance, branch down, Cause you know you gotta space them out and stuff. And every time I'd bring one down, the lights would go out. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna um. This was Sunday. 
I'm going to stop right now. There was a number for technical support. So I just figured, okay, I'll call technical support. And unbelievable. They're, no, they're not opened on Sundays. They're open every other day, but not on Sundays. So started doing a little bit of checking in and looking after a while. And they've got it's a little micro dot or something. It's called the lights. This little tiny thing was unplugged. I just... Okay, well at least we found it. And now we know. So, anyways, it's working. It's working now. This looks like it's backwards. There we go. And Pam, I can't thank you enough for telling me about this set. I just love it. It is so cute. Now the thing is gonna be getting the glue on these little bitty pieces. It don't want to do that. I just don't like glue all over me. I'm so bad about it. Just don't like it. Oh, horrible. You would think that I really, really wouldn't like paper crafting, wouldn't you? Having to deal with glue, but I just. I love doing paper crafting. Just don't like the glue all stuck on me. Oh. Looks like I got plenty of red if I wanted to put some more down. I got red, but I don't have. Stick one right there. They've got an extra one there, but I'm not, I didn't do those so. <laughs> and then with already having stars. I should have put that on straighter. 
but they got it at an angle, but it still looks straight. I don't know, maybe you need to go those other layers. But do you suppose these are to hold balloons, maybe? Maybe that's what they're for, but they're, the balloons are on a different die set. Hmm. Okay. So now, I get some of these papers out of the way over here. So I can get to this other stuff. Um, I wanted the one that said birthday, birthday wishes, like they have on theirs, the stamp. Must be down here. Hmm. I don't see it on any of these. See, this one has the birthday wishes, too. But I don't see anything. That says birthday wishes. I guess I'll have to do something different. This says happy birthday. I got a piece of white right here. There's no candles on the cake. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna just cut it out anyways. This is in Lagoon. Hopefully Lagoon will look good on there.
You know, the thing about these crafters companions is you can kind of shift it. This one won't. Okay. This is going to be real close if I... See, I did get it in there. Good, 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 good. It's not straight, though. No. Not straight. Isn't that something? Now I just want to kind of follow. Just want to kind of follow my other cut line. There we go. That works. Works for me. Happy birthday. Oh, and I did get some good suggestions for that card I made. Where is that card I made? Ah, uh, here. I believe it was Judy. Yes, Judy said, back it up with some black or some gold, and that'll make it stand up. Duh, I know that stuff. What's wrong with me? Uh, so, keep your comments going. I mean, it helps. And and then, you know, I can't believe I didn't think about... I mean, what is the matter with me that I didn't even think about that? It's, it's, it's unreal. But anyways, so thank you, Judy, for that. You're absolutely right. I should have backed that up. And you're right, black or gold would have been awesome there. So, yep, always comment. Always, it helps. And if somebody else is looking and they happen to read the comments, then they'll know. Oh, okay, just back it up. Right? That's what I think. So... There we go, it's cute. It's not, this needed to be straighter up on here. Kind of like I did that one, but. Anyways, there we go. Thanks for joining me. If you like my channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. Check out the 300 subscriber swap. All you gotta do is send me something related to crafting and I'll send you something back depending on how many participants are or depending on the size of the swaps um there it is so yep go check out the video for the 300 subscriber swap anyway thank you for joining me and I hope you'll join me again. Bye-bye now.